Hi guys, welcome back to another video and today we are going to be So today more news so the first day first reveals of the end of NYCC this year virtual corners because you know it's cancelled this year but this is day one a little bit later reveals but uh yeah, it doesn't matter. Really cool reveals today, and uh, let's get straight into it. So the first one we have here is this Dungeons and Dragons one. That that's like a dragon five headed. Yeah, five headed dragon with a dice. So and it's a super sized one. So here it is. Really, really cool one. Awesome, really do like the detail on this one. So, I betcha I don't really know what this character is, but uh, I do have a Dungeon and Dragons Funko Pop from the was it last year's? I think it was last 2020, yeah, but it was the yeah, Gelatinous Cube, but uh. This one is a brand new one, and they also did announce a Dungeon & Dragon one for oh, Funcon as well, so that was the dice, so that was pretty cool. But so yeah, let's move on to the next one. And it looks like they actually have metallic eyes as well, which is a really good, great touch. So the next one we have, have um, is a really cool one, and... Um, I actually have a friend that actually likes Hamilton, so I'm sure that no, they'll like this. So this is I'm not quite sure what his name is though, but uh, here he is. Really, really cool. I actually I, I looked it up this morning, but I forgot the name. Hmm. But uh, yeah, still an interesting looking Funko Pop, um, and uh, yeah, it looks really cool. I really like the, how they really did the, like, really do like the yellow on this one and all that, so uh, yeah, let's move on to the next one. Awesome. So the next one we have is the NY is the pizza rat and the New York Comic Con bird also they do this basically every year but yeah uh, these look really really cool I do like these ones but uh here they are really awesome very very cool so whew, this I probably like the bird out of all of them, but uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure these these are limited as well to fifteen hundred. Yeah, like they usually are. These are the limited ones, and then but they're really cool. I really like the buildings in the background of this as well. So, yep. And uh, let's move on to the next one. So our next one we have is Masters of the Universe. Looks like and. Again, I haven't watched Masters of the Universe, so I do not know what this character's name is. I'm pretty sure the Dungeon Dragon's name was Tim Tat, if I remember. I'm pretty sure, but this one, not too sure, but here he is. I'm sure, a lot of you Masters of the Universe fans are going to be wanting this one. I think they do. A lot of the Master of the Universe ones, most of the time for cons and all that. But uh, yeah, still really cool detailed character. I I definitely know who He Man is, but He Man Skeletor. But I uh, don't know who this is. But new character, I do like it. So it's good to the toy. Um, Tokyo. Like most of them are exclusive to in the cons, but uh, yeah, really cool. And uh, if you want to have a look at it one more time, here he is. Really cool. 
The next one is, oh, it's a Star Wars one. So, this one, I think we got sort of like a teaser a couple days before. Yeah, that, this one and then I'll bring Tim Tat as well. I'm not sure what, what the name is. But, uh, yeah, this is really cool. I do, know, I do know the name of this one, of course, but. Seen a little bit of the Mandalorian pretty good show, but uh yeah, I've never seen a Funko Pop of Boba Fett unmasked. I've always I have got a Boba Fett Funko Pop somewhere, but they've always been masked. And um I really like the detail on the face on the top of the head and the whole suit. So yeah, that was Looks really cool and uh sure that this one will sell out quite quickly because I have a feeling it would. Because uh Boba Fett's a really good character from the Star Wars movies, but uh yeah, so really awesome and uh let's move on to the next one. So the next one we have a Silver Side Score one. Now I haven't watched this movie. I watched the first one, I haven't watched the second one, but uh, I think I remember the name of this one. Sav Savant? Yes, yeah, Savant. So, apparently he's only in the movie for like two minutes. But, uh, yeah, so it's very interesting. Some, how Funko make like, Funko Pops that's, no, not in the movie characters that are not in the movie for that long. But it's still pretty cool uh, for DC fans and all that. So, here he is, really awesome. I think this is a really cool. It kind of looks like uh, Lu Lucius Malfoy's hair from Harry Potter. And uh, if you take those goggles off, yeah, it's kind of like looks like Lucius Malfoy. But yeah, just that's what I think. But uh, yeah, really like the red and black. Suit sort of, and the goggles are cool. So, uh, yeah. Let me know, in, oh, and also, let me know in the comments down below if you have seen any ones from this, from the first day that you like and you want to pick up. So let's move on to the next one. And the next one. Yeah, now, this one was a very, I was actually very happy that this got announced. I haven't seen the movie yet. But I probably will see it because this Funko Pop is out now. Venom Let There Be Carnage. Carnage. Uh, sort of not, not the normal one that just got announced uh, a couple of month, a month ago. This one has like, it's flying. Oh, this is really sick. Oh, I could not believe it when they announced this one. I think they announced the Carnage one a couple of years ago from the first Venom movie. From 2018. I'm pretty sure. But this one looks really cool. I don't know which one looks better though. From the 2018 one. To the 2021. 2021 one. But basically. Really cool. Apparently. There's like an end credit scene about. Legend to Nowhere Home. But. I have to see about that. But. This one probably a pick up for me. But uh yeah. Really cool and here's a look at it again. So let's move to the next one. Oh and, and I'm also looking forward to if tomorrow if there's gonna be more Marvel reviews because you know you know you guys don't know I'm a big fan of Marvel and uh, yeah so hopefully there's more cool ones like this one. So the next one we have is X-Men. I don't quite know who this... I don't know the character. But she does glow in the dark, looks like. Flying, but yeah, if you don't... If you know the name of this girl from X-Men, let me know in the comments down below. But yeah, at least it's another Marvel one, and I'm pretty sure it's like a comic book version one. Yeah, looks like it. So yeah, still looks pretty cool. 
they could actually put this one for Emerald City Comic Con, but still, still a really detail on this, and uh, I'm sure a lot of this will glow. So, let's move to the next one. So, the next one, we've got a couple of sodas. So, the first one we've got is Poison Ivy with a Glitter Chase. Really like that Glitter Chase. That Glitter Chase is awesome. So, yes, and I think she's holding a rose, yeah. Really, really cool. So, the comma is just the normal, and then basically glitter for the chase. Really cool. I don't think they've they've done a Batman soda. They've done a Robin soda. Not sure about that. I might have to check. So the next one we have is one that actually I was surprised about. And I don't know, I'll think about it, but this is a Marvel one, and this is from Guns of the Galaxy Two, and it is Rocket. So and then the, the, the chase is flocked. Of course, what what else would the chase be? But uh, I really like that flocking on the rocket. You can see that the rocket. Oh, and he's actually holding the bomb from when Groot is uh, trying to press the wrong button. Oh, that is a really good scene in the movie. Oh, yes. A lot of Marvel fans will be happy about this soda. That's for sure. So the next one we have is. The Banana Splits Bingo. And this one is... The chase for this one is also flocked. I think this one looks cool. Don't really know this one. But uh, yeah, it still looks really, really cool. And uh, the flocked one is more orange uh, orangey. But uh, yeah. So I know a lot of people will be wanting the chase, of course. Because... The, most of the chases, most of the time, are better than the commons, but, yeah. So, the next one we have, next soda, I'm pretty sure this one is soda, yeah. Yes, there is. This is a really cool one. Now, I actually have the Operation Ball Game, and they made a soda of Cavity Sam, I'm pretty sure. And here he is, and the chase is a glow-in-the-dark variant. That is really, really cool. I like how they made a soda for this. It turned out really great. And what glows in the dark is the pieces that, like, you sort of operate on. See? Awesome. That was really good idea. Great job, Funko. You did a really good job on this one. And uh, there is a pop-out for this as well, yes. But, uh, but uh, yeah, so let's move to the next one. So, oh, it looks like the last one we have is, and we have two Masters of the Universe Soto. So, we have Robo and Snake Face. So, here are the commas and the chases for Snake Face and Robo. Robot? Hmm, yeah, but, and then we have a sn Snake Face Pop. There as well. So another unit, Master of the Universe Funko Pop. So that looks really cool. Uh, I don't know which one looks better, the pop or uh, the soda. No, they both look cool. But uh, yeah, that's it for day one of NYCC Virtual Con. See what tomorrow uh, brings for us. But. Uh, Yes, so make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you're new here. And chat similar pockets, Cynthia, Captain Goku, Mr. Dan, Xbox Rock, Ben, Ken, Alex Stewart. And this has been another video. We'll see you guys later.